All right, guys, I got a neat little series here I've been wanting to do. I've seen people shoot ice, but it's always a chunk of ice, and it kind of just explodes. Well, what do you expect, right? So, I'm going to do a caliber comparison where it's contained in these buckets here. So, it won't let the ice really explode, per se, unless it's a really powerful round. So... I guess the intent is I'm going to shoot this 38 special first, then 380, 9mm, 45, uh, 40 caliber, so on. Probably switch to shotguns and such later. Just to see what each one does to it, really. And if it leaves a little hole, I'm going to try to measure it and uh, see how far in it goes each one. And I was trying to get this bastard to thaw out. I've been trying for an hour to get that out, and I still can't get it out, so... Uh, the idea was one in the bucket and then one sitting outside of the bucket just by itself so we can shoot it to pieces and get some cool slow motion and such. But I cannot get this out and I'm running out of time to do this video today. So um, I'm just going to shoot full metal jacket at this and then just a lead round at this then since this is what we're stuck with for now. So again, 38 Special. The... Uh, Full metal jacket, it's going to be 125 grain Magtex, and then the, the lead's in 158 grain American Eagle. So we'll just do uh, full metal on the left and the lead on the right. <laughs> All right. That shit blasted back and hit me in the face. God. Oh, man. Well, looks like a hit right there. Where's the bullet? Oh, it probably fell out. Um. Oh. It's got to be down here, right? Unless it just <laughs> it shot back and I don't even know. It just. All right, then. Let's try the 158 grain. See what I can find when we're done. Far less damage. What is this? I don't even know, like... <sighs> Alright. So, I had anticipated finding the bullets. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't even know. Like, there's nothing here. I don't know if it just like disintegrated in the itty bitty little pieces and it's everywhere. But I'm gonna sift through this and see if I can find anything. I'm not sure if that one's in there. I'm thinking it is because it's just really hard to find. There's that one. It might be hard to see, but that is definitely a lead bullet in there. So. Well, let's see, that's about that far in. Three and a half, four inches, probably about four inches. And I don't know if that's the hole because I don't see anything in there, but. It seems like a hole, but I don't see anything. Anyways, uh. That one, if, if that's the hole, which I don't know because I don't see a bullet, and it, it's kind of on par with where it hit, so it might be, um, then it went like an extra inch. 
definitely did a lot more damage. I gotta go to work. It's only like 40 some degrees out here. It's supposed to freeze again tonight, so then warm back up to 40 something again tomorrow. Let's see what I can find on these tomorrow. See if we can find those bullets or something. Maybe get a couple other shots at it. I don't know. All right, well, it's actually two or three days later. I still haven't completely thawed out, but they thawed out enough and slipped out of the bucket, so. Um, I'm gonna see if I can open them up and find the, find these bullets. All right. There we go. That's uh, that's pretty deep. You know, here would have been the front. It's about you know, the ice would have extended a little past this before it started to melt. Because there's your bucket. So that went pretty far. I think the ice would have been out to here. That's like uh. Uh, six or seven inches, maybe eight. Cool. Let's see if I can find this other one now. So like I showed earlier, you can actually see that one. So let's get it out of there. So there's the lead one. There's the uh, front piece. Shit. Dropping my phone. Front piece here. See. Plus add an inch or two from it melting. So the other one definitely went in considerably further, even though it tumbled. This one obviously tumbled a little, but not much. All right. So let's get these out of here and take a close look at them. Well, there you go. I'm kind of surprised that the, uh, the lead one isn't really deformed at all. Even the tip, it's uh, it's not really flattened out or anything, so I guess the velocity is low enough on that, only 700 some feet a second to where it, it doesn't really, it's not going fast enough to deform it. I'm still surprised though, because it's soft lead. All right, now I'll set up what's left of this and have a little fun shooting the rest of it. Make sure uh, I'll get at least one on slow-mo. All right, guys. I'm gonna go right to left. I'm just gonna use uh, these mag techs. I'm gonna save the big boy on the left for uh, slow mo. That one went right through and didn't, it just shot right through. <laughs> Alright, see if I can get some slow-mo here. This is a nice big solid chunk, so... Eh, that was a pretty solid piece. Let's try one more slow-mo on this little guy. You guys won't mind, right?
All right, that's a little bit better. More what I was looking for. The shit came back and hit me in the face. <laughs> All right, like I said, guys, this is a little bit of a mini series I'm doing. So, next up is the 380, uh, then the 9 millimeter, 40, and 45. Uh, so, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Stay tuned to see the rest of them. When I finish out my handguns, I'm going to switch over to shotguns. That should be interesting. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.